Hello guys and welcome back to Engineering Hack. Today with a different kind of approach. I am, I was wondering whether ChatGPT could uh, solve the problems that we tack on the channel and see if it would be helpful because if it were, you know, you can just, students can use this as a way to learn, which is great. However, I want to show you a couple of things. So this is from the last problem. You can check it out here on the channel. And I've asked ChatGPT, can you please solve this problem? And it copy pasted the actual problem to ChatGPT. And it uh, promptly, you know, gave me an answer, uh, kind of saying a bit more about the, um, the problem itself, the uh, information given by the problem statement, and the going straight into the point and saying to determine the cross-sectional area of the pipe, we can use the continuity equation, which is correct. Um, it states the mass flow rate is a constant through the pipe. That's correct as well. And he goes ahead and says that the mass flow rate equals to the density times the cross-sectional area times the velocity, which equals a constant. This is also correct. So, um, it, you know, starts going, doing a great job. And, you know, if you don't really know what's going on, you can just easily copy paste the answer here. But you would be wrong because what you can see here is the... Um, now this over here, when it gets the cross-sectional area, it does not get the right value. This actually is not the right cross-sectional area that we got when we were solving it. And just looking at what, why he got it wrong, or why it got it wrong, I should say, um, I noticed that instead of using the um, correct mass flow rate, it didn't actually use the volumetric flow rate as the mass flow rate. And also, there's also a unit problem here. It's using meters cubed per hour, multiplying that by, or dividing that by meters per second, and assuming that the hours and seconds are going to go away. So it did not do the you know, unit conversion. So, you know, two very important fundamental problems being done by the software. And it goes on to give you, you know, more and more answers, all of them being wrong. Um, and you can look at this later, slow motion if you want to. Um, ChatGPT has this thing that if it the answer is too long, it's going to stop halfway. So I said continue, and it continues on all the way, and it gives amazing answers to every single um, of the problem uh, of the prompts that we were given in the problem statement, and all of them are incorrect. So what I go, I go ahead and say that is incorrect, and they, it goes back and says, oh, apologies for the error. Uh, let me try to correct my mistake, and it does a whole different method of solving. Again, very convincing if you're not sure what's going on. It looks like it's doing everything right. Kind of the um, the ways and the methods it uses, there's all there's a lot of consistency there. So there's nothing like wrong per se with the uh, approach it's taking, but the actual um, understanding of the problem and converting that into an answer is completely off. So even though uh, some values here are changed, and all the solution is still incorrect. And I actually had another experience with this um, ChatGPT looking for another problem that I gave him and it got it wrong one time after another. And I tried correcting it a couple of times saying, for instance, you know, the, it was using um, ideal gas equations for the um, for water. And I went ahead and said, you can't do that. You know, water is not an ideal gas. And, and the software is like, yeah, that's correct. Thanks for correcting me. So let me try this approach, then another wrong answer, and I'll correct it again, saying that doesn't make sense. The um, I don't know, the final pressure needs to be equal to the atmosphere plus the the, the weight. It's like, oh, that's true, and then <laughs> it tries again, and once again, wrong iteration, wrong answer. So this is, you know, this is an amazing software, obviously. It's useful for a lot of things, and I'm sure that very soon it will be able to solve these problems, these a bit more, um, call it higher degree problems, but for the time being, it's not that reliable. I've tried it with two or three different problems, all of them wrong. Even given pointers, they were all wrong. So for students, for students out there, I just, you know, this is a tale of caution. Be aware of it. Um, if you understand the subject, then you can go and check and use it to assist you. But if you understand the subject well enough, you don't need the ChatGPT. If you're trying to get by and you use it and you don't understand it enough, then you're probably going to go down a path that's not going to help you. It's going to be the other way around because then you need to find out what it did wrong. It's going to be harder for you to do. So that's my my objective with this video, just to warn you guys. Um, use this software cautiously. It's amazing, but not quite there yet to be able to solve these um, problems that we solve on the channel. 
All right, I hope this was useful. As per usual, if this was, consider giving it a like. Um, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below, and we'll talk soon.